I will praise you, O oh Lord, with my whole heart. I will tell all your marvelous words. I will be glad and rejoice in you. I sing praises to your name. I 
sight. We are confident, I say, and willing, rather, to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. Wherefore we labor that whether present or absent, we may be accepted of him. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that every one may receive the things done in his body, according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. And we thank the Lord for the reading of his word. May God settle his word in your heart, that you may live in your mouth. God bless you. Shall we pray? Eternal God, our Father, it is in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that we do come to this hour to say thank you. Yes. We thank you, God, because you said in everything give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Thank you for this family that have gathered here on this occasion. Even in times like these, you're still worthy to be praised. So we thank you now for the life of Sister Margaret. We thank you for the lives that she touched, for every contribution she made to society, to her church family, to her immediate family. We give you praise and glory for all that you have done. We know that you're a righteous God. You're a holy God. You're an excellent God, and you make no mistakes. So we thank you right now. And Lord, we know you today to be our refuge and our strength. We as believers know you to be a very present help in the time of trouble. So I ask right now in the name of Jesus that you will comfort this family. Strengthen them for where they are weak. Lift them up from every leaning side. When times come and they get low in spirit, oh God, I pray that you'll lift up their bow their head and lift their eyes up unto the hills from which cometh their help. Help them to realize that all of their help comes from the Lord. Hallelujah, which made the hell of that dear earth. So we thank you for everything that you have done and what you're doing right now. We pray that you continue to give strength and comfort. Now I pray now that you will bless Bishop Pierce as he shall bring forth words from your word. Use them for your glory that he may strengthen this family and edify the body of Christ. We thank you for all things. In Jesus' name we do pray and ask it all. Amen.
Amen. Thank you so much, John. Sister Martha was a sweet person. I'm going to miss her. I spoke to her. She was telling me, she said, Bishop, I got shingles. I said, you got what? I got shingles and they hurt. I said, well, sister, I feel sorry for you. I never had them, but I heard about them. Because my father in the ministry had them for two years. And he had them, I think, at one time he had them for about eight or nine months. And it's just something that's irritating. We always would talk. And the last thing she would say, Bishop, I love you. I said, Sister Martha, I love you. And there's nothing you can do about it. That's the relationship we have. Amen. At this time, we ask that you read the obituary of Silas. And after that, we're going to ask Sister Billy Ruffins to come with the acknowledgement. She will sing a solo. I don't know if she's going to sing one or two, but she's going to say God use her. Amen.
knows my name. To God be the glory. And he knew Sister Margaret's name. Amen. To the family, for prayers are with you. We ask that God give you strength.
walking from the, from, from the cab to the house and I would walk out and holler at them. We had a relationship. You understand? We had a relationship. So, 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 so she did all that she could do while she was able to do it. So she always had a smile on her face. Always had a smile on her face. Always had a friendly word to say. She was always trying to get, trying to, Give God the glory, give her the praise, give him the praise. Yeah. How we keep on he she said, Bishop, he, I'm going through this and I'm going through that, but he keep on blessing me over and over and over again. When you know that you know that you know that you're in the Lord will, even though what you're going through, you can still say, Lord, I thank you, even though through my sickness, I can praise you because I know my help comes from the Lord. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Jesus was speaking words of encouragement. 